My name is Sylvie Zebroff, and I'm the Director of Programs with the Disabilities Health Research Network. Yes, well, I, I came from a grassroots um, advocacy-based background. Um, I am a person who has a family member with uh, developmental disabilities, and I realized at a certain point um, that it was not enough to know about the individual disability, but that I wanted to understand the community context, the idea of how uh, differently abled we are in society and how we include inclusive practices and what the larger frameworks are. Um, that brought me to the, the uh, academic end to pursue my master's degree. Um, but I'm also essentially a pragmatist and I'm very interested in how um, things can be applied functional, functionally to improve the lives of persons with disabilities. And so my research has been part, particularly around autism spectrum disorders, uh, looking at transition points throughout the lives of persons who live with the ASD. And also I've been quite involved in sexual health education research for children with intellectual or developmental disabilities to learn about uh, physiological uh, changes and maturation and um, education systems to meet those needs. I really have a very strong belief that education is the way <laughs> to open people's uh, awareness. I think in whatever forms that education takes, whether it's in a classroom, in a community organization, in a hospital wing, on a teleconference webinar program that people appreciate um, education and appreciate new understandings and new information. So my quest is to share information, um, to have knowledge shared in a very reciprocal way so that not only can we receive information from research but that we can inform research by the lived information. And I think parents and families and people who work with people with disabilities on the front line have a lot to contribute to our knowledge about that. And researchers have a lot of wonderful things to contribute to the front line practice. So it's a very um, proactive and positive approach. And so I am looking at curriculum development for um, ASD uh, programs to bring people together and share information to make disability less daunting or intimidating because very often what we don't know becomes scary and knowledge helps us to to become stronger and and be more willing to risk relationships with others who aren't exactly the same as we are. So um, differently abled can be a wonderful thing. <laughs> we just need to uh, share that knowledge with other people.